ready for my review, bub. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review The Wolverine, starring Hugh Jackman, directed by James Mangold. Alright, so I was really excited for The Wolverine, I couldn't wait to see it. I enjoy all of the X-Men films, basically. A lot of people really hate both X-Men 3 The Last Stand and X-Men Origins Wolverine. Most of the hate is going towards to Origins, though. I actually really enjoyed X-Men 3 Last Stand and X-Men Origins Wolverine. And I actually reviewed X-Men Origins Wolverine on the We Live Film channel. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to my review for that film below. Subscribe to the We Live Film channel as well. Very cool channel. The movie takes place after X-Men 3 The Last Stand. This is a standalone Wolverine film. I guess you could call it Wolverine 2 if you want to. You could call it a sequel to Origins. And it does have a couple of tie-ins to Origins as well as the first three X-Men films, which I really liked. I really like that they did that. Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine. He's Logan. He doesn't want to be called the Wolverine anymore. Then this Japanese girl comes to Logan to tell him that there was a someone that he saved from the World War II bomb bombing that he wanted to say goodbye to before he passed away. And I don't want to spoil any more, so that's all I'm going to say. But after seeing the Wolverine, holy shit, this movie is awesome. The Wolverine is awesome. I really like this film. This is a very outstanding action film that goes deep into the Wolverine character. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I enjoyed this film just as much as I enjoyed X-Men Origins Wolverine. So it's really no competition to me. But if you want me to go slightly, definitely Wolverine. What makes this film so outstanding is definitely the performance by Hugh Jackman as Logan slash the Wolverine. The more movies this guy makes as Wolverine, the better he gets. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. No one else could play Wolverine, in my opinion. Just like how Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Look, he resembles Iron Man. And that's the same for Hugh Jackman in Wolverine. The storyline to this film is really good. I was impressed by the writing in this film. I was invested in the, mo in the moment in this film the whole time. Whether it was slow dialogue talking or whether the action scenes were going on I was invested in it I was engaged by the very well written script to this film and overall the Wolverine was just really good we also get good performances from Mariko which Hugh Jackman seems to have I wouldn't say a romance with but kind of a connection to get over Jean Grey Oh, and the scenes with Jean Grey I found to be really good. It had meaning to the whole story with Logan slash the Wolverine and Fran K. Jensen. She does good as Jean Grey as she did with the other X-Men films. And James Mangold's direction in this film, really impressive. Just how he handles everything, how he shoots the action sequences. It's just plain brilliant. How he captures the city of Japan, it's just really really incredible this guy he knew he knows how to shoot films there were actually some incredible shots in the Wolverine some of the scenes with the cinematography wow did it just blow me away James Mangold really captured the character of the Wolverine well and I just really dug this story and the Japanese cultures that are put into the Wolverine Really cool. I was really interested in knowing some of the Japanese cultures and thanks to this film I got to know a little more about that kind of culture. The side characters, they actually gave good performances as well. And come on, the action scenes. Oh my gosh, the action scenes are just incredible. The train scene was 
so well executed. The scene, uh, I'm not going to spoil which scene, but there was a scene where Wolverine fights someone, and it was dark, it was brutal, and it was actually the scene where he actually accepted himself as the Wolverine again. You guys could probably figure out which scene it is once you see the film, but those were two of my favorite action scene sequences. All of the action sequences in this film are incredible, but those two action sequences I mentioned really stand out. Oh, and the finale too. Really enjoyed the finale, although I, even though I had a problem in that finale, overall the finale was really cool too. If I do have to say a problem I do have with the Wolverine though, it's the Viper character. She's hot. I'm not gonna lie there. She's a hot villain. She's good to look at actually. But I just didn't feel like she was necessary for the storyline. She didn't really feel like she ha had any meaning to the storyline too. She just overall didn't need to be here. But she wasn't awful. The actress who portrayed her actually did a well done job portraying her. The character overall just didn't feel in the end in my opinion. Also, quick little spoiler, if you guys do not want to know the spoiler, just go ahead and skip to this right here. The other problem I had with the Wolverine was when Wolverine Logan lost his claws. The Silver Samurai, who was a badass by the way, loved the Silver Samurai. He chopped off Logan's claws and what really distracted me was that Logan got his new claws from his bones. Bone claws. I did not like that. That was a huge distraction to me. I really hope his bone claws will not be in X-Men Days of Future Past because otherwise it's going to be a huge distraction for me. I want those metal claws back. Like, come on, bring back the metal claws. Those things are so badass. Oh, sorry, but that was another problem I did have with the film. And also, I predicted right away who the Silver Samurai was. It was so predictable to me. Despite a few problems that the Wolverine does have, it's really good. The slow dialogue scenes never bored me. Some people were surprisingly bored with it. I really do not understand how they could be bored with it because they made the talking scenes so captivating. I was like really into the talking scenes. Action scenes, talking scenes, I was like so into it. It's like, wow, I was just impressed with the Wolverine almost all the way through. I really liked it. Also, stick around for the credits because there will be a mid credit scene and oh my gosh, holy crap, it was awesome. <laughs> The Wolverine exceeded almost every single expectation I had for the film. I rate this movie an outstanding rating of 3.5 out of 4 stars. Another amazing Wolverine film. Awesome. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your honest opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!